This episode of Ham Talk Live is brought to you by Tower Electronics. For connectors, cables, and more, call 920-435-2973 or visit pl-259.com. And by ICOM. Heard it? Worked it? Logged it. Visit www.icomamerica.com slash amateur for more information about ICOM radios. It's Ham Radio. Good evening, everyone. It's coming to you live from the sold-out Spring Hill Suites, Dayton, South Miamisburg. It's Ham Talk Live, episode number 165, live from Dayton 2019, the Hamvention Preview, recorded live on Thursday, May 16th. 2019. I'm your host, Neil Rapp, WB9VPG. Thanks for tuning in to this episode of Ham Talk Live. Tonight, we're not doing our usual call-in show. We're back by popular demand. We're going to give you all the latest information you need for your trip to Dayton. If you miss something on the show tonight and need to hear it again, Ham Talk Live will be on hamtalklive.com and all the usual podcast apps within a few minutes after the show, like Apple Podcasts, SoundCloud, and Stitcher. It will also be available on YouTube. Last week here on the show, Michael Coulter, WHCI, was here to talk about all the latest news from Hamvention. If you missed that show, you can listen anytime at hamtalklive.com or on your favorite podcast app or on YouTube, or you can catch the rebroadcast on WTWW 5085 AM Saturday evenings at or about 6.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Don't forget our mascot, Hammy, will be wandering around Hamvention on Friday and Saturday. We'd love to see your photos with Hammy, so post those online with the hashtag HamTalkLive. Hammy will be giving away some stickers and our brand new Loyal Listener Club Nerd Card. So look for Hammy at Hamvention. So uh, if you're listening to us uh, live tonight, you'll uh, <clears throat> actually have a chance to participate a little bit later but it's it's a little different than usual so we won't be uh, answering the phone tonight um, we may we may check twitter out here but uh, we'll we'll let you know more about that as the uh, night goes on but tonight we have weather traffic parking news and information about some activities going on this weekend related to hamvention for you so let's start off with the weather and with the exclusive spectrum news 1 hamvention weather forecast here is Chief Meteorologist Eric Elwell, KD4BNT. Well, Neil, thus far it has been uh, pretty quiet, actually, pretty nice day for those heading into Hambitch in 2019. But the weather gets a little tricky tonight. We're going to be watching the threat for some thunderstorms here during the night. I think while most people are sleeping, however, sometime between about a 10 p.m. to, say, 3, 4 o'clock in the morning, there's a chance for a line of storms to push through, and one or two of those could be strong damage. It's the primary concern, so make it a bumpy start to Hamvention tonight. But then on and off, uh, chances for thunderstorms Friday, likely again in the afternoon. We'll have to watch out for the threat for a few storms. They don't look quite as intense as what we will see tonight. And the weekend looking pretty good. Saturday and Sunday, we should get some sunshine back in here for Saturday. Temperatures are going to be soaring into the middle 80s. There's a slight chance for a storm popping up on Sunday. High temperatures back in the mid-80s and really a warm and uh, quiet weekend ahead after kind of a bumpy night tonight. So that's a look at the latest forecast with the exclusive Ham Talk Live Hamvention weather forecast. I'm Spectrum News 1 Chief Meteorologist Eric Elwell, KD4 VNT. Well, thanks so much, Eric. And uh, since we talked to you last year, you moved down the road a bit from Dayton to be closer to your family. So uh, tell us a little bit about the new gig. Well, Neil, yeah, thanks for asking. The new job is uh, definitely going well. I do work for Spectrum News One. We're based in Columbus, but we cover the entire state of Ohio, including the Miami Valley and the Dayton Metro and Xenia area. Uh, so we do cover the weather coming in from Indiana. And really, it's something that I started out in my career doing. 
late in the 1990s. I came to Columbus and uh, worked for a company called the Ohio News Network back then. Uh, again, we were statewide weather coverage there from Cleveland down to the Ohio River. So this gave me a chance uh, to come back into a statewide uh, cable network, and I really enjoy forecasting for all of Ohio from the lake effect snow in the north to uh, uh, what we deal with along the Ohio River. So it's been a fantastic opportunity. It brought me back closer to my family here in Columbus, but I'm not too far from Xenia. And, of course, the weather that usually comes through uh, western Ohio and the Miami Valley arrives here in central Ohio about an hour or so later. So uh, thank you very much for asking, but uh, still glad I can cover the weather here for Ham Bench in 2019. All right. Thanks again, Eric. And uh, you can catch Eric on Spectrum Cable News 1 across Ohio on Channel 1 while you're here in the Dayton area for continuing weather coverage. And we'll check in with Eric again at the end of the show tonight. And uh, now we're going to turn to some traffic. So uh, there's some traffic concerns around town. It's not as bad as some years. Uh, If you're coming in from the west on I-70, that's pretty well cleared up, but the rest stop is closed near the state line. Uh, But if you go east of 75, there are some intermittent lane closures um, around Ohio 235, Dayton Lakeview Road. Um, Exits 52A and B at US 68 in that neighborhood. So if you're east of 75 on 70, you're going to see some slowdowns. And on 675 between I-75 and Paragon Road, there are some lane closures, but most of those are nightly, so you probably uh, won't catch those during the day going out to Hamvention. One thing that will affect Hamvention a little bit, uh, if you go out to visit the Dara Clubhouse, uh, Chambersburg Road from uh, Bell Fountain Road East is uh, in Hubert Heights is closed, and so uh, you have to go on a detour to Taylorsville Road to get to the clubhouse. So if you're going on the visit out there to the open house, uh, be aware of that. Um, also, the South Broadway ramp on 75 North and South is closed if you're around downtown, and uh, the East US 35 ramp to 75 North is closed. So lots going on around US 35, um, but the rest of it is pretty good. And then in Greene County, um, Maple Avenue between Xenia Drive and Mann Avenue in Fairborn is closed for some road work. And then West 2nd Street between South Progress Drive and South Church Street, which is US 42 in Xenia. We'll have some temporary lane closures and delays. And then also US 43 between Brush Row and Bickett Roads. Uh, Some lane closures from 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. for some sidewalk installation. And um, we're going to try to uh, talk to Sheriff Gene Fisher, KX8GCS, if we can here tonight. We uh, had a little technical glitch. It was seems typical for our hamvention show and so uh hopefully he uh he gets the new phone number so we'll uh we'll try to check in with uh sheriff gene in just a little bit um we're also going to uh talk a little bit about uh parking and um some of the activities that are going on uh gas prices right now uh gas prices your lowest is costco and centerville at 255 uh, most of the gas prices are 279 or 289 um, around the Dayton metro area. In Xenia, it's 286, uh, but it is 281 at UDF, or as I like to call it, UDF, and uh, 282 at Murphy USA. So um, if, if you can come in from the south, uh, Springboro and Franklin is the lowest around at 251. So. Um, if you get a chance, you can save a little money there. So we're going to take a break. We're going to come back and we'll talk about uh, parking and shuttle bus information. And uh, hopefully we'll get the sheriff on here right after this word from Tower Electronics right here on Ham Talk Live. Hey, honey, have you seen the PL259s anywhere? No, I haven't. Come on, kids. Let's go. 
there's just one place to go for all of your connector needs. Tower, Tower Electronics. Electronics. Tower Electronics. Tower, Tower Electronics. Electronics. A, A giant, giant warehouse, warehouse of connectors, connectors and adapters and for every, every occasion. occasion. Thousands to choose from in every shape, size, and color. And they have antennas, soldering supplies, cables, meters, and more. Or where do you go if you want to buy a connector at a fraction of retail cost? Tower, Tower Electronics. Electronics. Tower Electronics. Tower Electronics. And this weekend only, take advantage of our special liquidation sale. Buy nine solder type PL 259s. Get the tenth one for just one penny. One penny. They make great Christmas presents. And what better way to say I love you than with the gift of a PL 259? Tower Electronics. Tower Electronics. Tower Electronics. Hi, I'm Scott Cole, KB9AMM, president of Tower Electronics. I like the company so much that I bought it. Tower Electronics, coming to a ham fest near you or online at pl-259.com. And we're in the yellow pages under Amateur Radio Connectors. My, wherever did you get that lovely PL-259? Tower Electronics, pl-259.com or call 920-435-2973. Do we sell PL-259 connectors? Let's have an eyeball QSO in Dayton. You're listening to Ham Talk Live with Neil Rapp. Welcome back to Ham Talk Live, live from Spring Hill Suites in Miamisburg. And we'd like to thank Scott and Jill at Tower Electronics for sponsoring the show tonight to help bring you Ham Talk Live. They'll be inside Building 3 in spots 3501 and outside in spots, including 9113. That's on the curve just to the east of Building 3. Just look for the big yellow blimp, and if you can't make it to Hamvention, give them a call at 920-435-2973 or visit their website at pl-259.com and tell them you heard it on Ham Talk Live. Well, welcome back to our Hamvention Prep episode and coming to you live from Spring Hill Suites, Dayton, South Miamisburg, just down the street from the Dayton Mall. Thanks for tuning in tonight, and we hope that uh, we're helping make your Hamvention a little more enjoyable. So now with the uh, parking and transportation report, we have Larry Sack, N8QNM. So, uh, Larry, thanks for being on the show tonight, and, and tell us about the remote parking and uh, shuttle buses and all that information for everybody coming to Hamvention in the morning. Okay, very good. All right. Neil, it's uh, good to be with you this evening. Uh, I want to make sure everyone attending the show knows that uh, there is free parking. Uh, we have availability for about 10,000 cars or more. Uh, we have four remote parking locations. And uh, we're running shuttles, free bus shuttles, uh, to and from those remote locations to the show. Um, overall, we're uh, we're ready. Our, everything is in place, and uh, looking forward to everyone showing up. Okay. Now I know we were talking a little bit about one of the remote parking areas, uh, maybe not being busy enough. Uh, is is the Young's Jersey Dairy thing? Uh, is that still running, or we need to have everybody listen to talk in for that? Right. They, they should listen to talk in. Right at this point, uh, I do not see uh, us using Young's Jersey Dairy. That's the one that we dropped this year, uh, or at least we put it in our back pocket. Uh, Two of them that we no longer have uh, that we had last year would be the county campus. Uh, the county chose to build a building where we were camp, uh, you know, parking cars before. And the other one that we lost is in Beaver Creek along US 35, the Eastgate Ford and Lafino's area. That one also got redeveloped. But we have okay. uh, two new locations. Uh, one is uh, we have the Hobson uh, Freedom uh, Park off of Trabine Road. That's a very large uh, soccer facility. We have uh, about 2,000 parking spaces there. And we also have uh, Warner Middle School, which is closer into Z- uh, Xenia, uh, back in the Platts there. 
Okay, and this year the uh, the shuttle buses are going to drop off at a little different place. Uh, yeah, the shuttle buses. Yeah, the shuttle buses will be dropping off uh, closer in. Uh, it was not quite a long ride. Uh, it's uh, really a, a less than a quarter mile from the uh, main entrance into the uh, shuttle. Uh, many people choose to walk, but those that do not, uh, we have a, uh, a golf cart fleet, uh, about 100 some golf carts that we have on site uh, to shuttle the guests to uh, the inside exhibits, take them over to the flea market. Uh, all we ask is that they have their tickets ready to go when we go through the gate. All right, and we'll remind everybody of the talk in. It's 146.94, negative offset, and a PL of 123. And then the bulletin loops on 145.525. And uh, also the text alerts. If you text Hamvention19 to 888-777, uh, you can get text alerts. And, of course, the Hamvention.org webpage and social media accounts. And uh, the smartphone app now, I, I really um, have been impressed with that and been using that quite a bit. And uh, even on HF, uh, 14.325 uh, in the evening. So uh, lots of ways to get that information. And also um, on AM 1620, I believe it is. Is that right? Uh, that's right. 1620, the low power broadcast station. You bet. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, Larry, anything else we need to tell everybody before Hamvention gets off to a bang in the morning? Well, the last thing I'll leave you with is that uh, if someone has any car trouble or they get stuck or need a jump or a flat tire or a lockout, we have a contract with a on-site towing company. So they'll have their equipment on-site. So if you have any car trouble, it's a free car service on us. Oh, wow. That's, uh, that's pretty cool. All right. Well, thanks so much, Larry, and uh, we appreciate you coming on the show and telling us all about that and uh, looking forward to uh, a great hamvention. You bet. We're ready. We're looking forward to all our guests uh, arriving. We'll see you tomorrow. All right, Larry. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it. You bet. That's Larry Sack, N8QNM, and he's part of the uh, public safety team there for Hamvention. We appreciate all of the volunteers that help make Hamvention happen each and every year. Well, I'll be back with more from Dayton right after this word from ICOM. America, right here on Ham Talk Live. Create your own band opening. ICOM's newest SDR transceiver, the IC9700, is coming soon. This radio is bringing direct sampling to the UHF VHF weak signal world. The IC9700 all mode transceiver is loaded with innovative features such as dedicated amateur satellite operation, color touch screen, D star capability built right in, RF direct sampling on the 2 meter and 70 centimeter bands, dual independent receivers capable of full duplex operation as well as dual watch and 100 watts max power on 2 meters, 75 watts max on 70 centimeters, and 10 watts max on 1.2 gigahertz. Pack your bags because the Dayton Hamvention is coming up. From May 17th to 19th at the Green County Fairgrounds and Expo Center, you can see the latest and greatest ICOM gear and meet hams from all over the world. Visit www.icomamerica.com slash amateur for more information on ICOM radios. Nominations are now open for the Amateur Radio Newsline, Bill Pasternak, WA6ITF, Young Ham of the Year Award. I'm Don Wilbanks, AE5DW. Since 1986, we've had the honor of celebrating the accomplishments of youth in ham radio when we want to know about your exceptional young ham. You'll find the rules and a nominating form by clicking the YHOTY tab on arnewsline.org. Fill it out, send it in, and we'll see you and an amazing young ham at the Huntsville, Alabama Ham Fest in August. Thanks, and 73 from Amateur Radio Newsline. All the information you need for your trip to Dayton. It's Hamvention Preview here on Ham Talk Live. Well, if you're going to Hamvention 2019, become one of the lucky winners to take home a limited edition swag kit. Visit ICOM's website to enter into the swag contest today. 
because it's going to be over. So hurry. It's icomamerica.com slash amateur. And be sure to visit their booth in Building 2 and spot 2508. So welcome back to Ham Talk Live, coming to you live from Spring Hill Suites, Dayton, South Miamisburg, where we're having a great time as we do each and every year during Hamvention, and we're looking forward to a lot of the activities in the evenings as well, and um, some are even going on as we speak tonight. Um, so we'll run down a few of the activities here, several uh, things going on. Uh, one is, of course, uh, one you've heard about a lot on this show, and it's the National Voice of America Museum of Broadcasting Open House. That's down in Westchester, which is south of Dayton, just off of I-75 at the Tylersville Road exit. Um, their hours are extended. Um, they are open uh, or were open until 9 tonight, but they're uh, closing down right now. But uh, tomorrow night, they'll be open from four to nine and then on saturday um they're one to nine now normally they're open from one to five so you may be wondering why are they open while hamvention's going on well it's because those are their normal hours uh between one and four but um, they're going to extend that till nine o'clock um, on saturday and then on sunday they will uh, extend an hour they'll go one to five on sunday and you can check out voamuseum.org for that and the um, extra wlw tour that went along with that is sold out so um, that will not be available unless you already signed up for it uh, the contest super sweet uh, about 7 p.m to 2 a.m each night in the crown plaza downtown uh, on the second floor the harding mckinley garfield and harrison rooms check that out free pizza free pizza parties all four nights and a cash bar available um, tonight it's uh, wings and pizza at 10 30 and then um, tomorrow night, Friday night, it's Working by the Numbers. That's the live band in the Presidential Ballroom, the second floor of the Crown Plaza at 10 p.m., followed by a pizza party at 11. And at Contest University today, we, we, we heard from Ward Silver in Zero AX, the, the mandolin player of, of Working by the Numbers. But, but we also had Dr. Tamitha Scove on the guitar today. They, they were they were singing, "Here Comes the Sun." That was kind of cool. So we enjoyed that at Contest University today. Saturday night there'll be another pizza party at 11 p.m. and um, then some other activities. Friday the Dara Clubhouse. We talked about the um, road closure there, but that's six to eight p.m. on a Friday. If you want to check out the newly expanded Dara Clubhouse. Uh, the Swodexa DX dinner is at the University of Dayton Marriott at um, 1414 South Patterson Boulevard at 7 p.m. And you can check out swodxaevents.org for information on that. The AMSAT Tapper Banquet, the pre-registration is already closed for that, but if you signed up, that's at 6.30. Uh, the Flex Radio Contest and DX Banquet is 7 to 10. The Hilton Garden Inn, Dayton South, Austin Landing. Uh, come here from Flex Radio and special guests. Advanced registration is required, and it's $50 a person. Uh, that's at flexradio.com. The top band dinner, 7 p.m. with a social hour at 6 at the Crown Plaza. And uh, the featured speaker is Ken Clairbout, K4ZW. Uh, the QRP Club night and homebrew contest for four days in May uh, is 8 to 10 p.m. at the Holiday Inn Fairborn. And the collegiate ham radio dinner, if you're um, into the college ranks, 6.30 to 9 p.m. at Fox and Hound in Beaver Creek. On Saturday, the Dara Open House is again 6 to 8, and the contest dinner is at 6.30 p.m. with social hours starting at 5.30 at the Crown Plaza. And uh, you have to go to the contest dinner website for that. The uh, speaker is Ted Rappaport in 9NB. And then the Wolf Hong ceremony is 9 p.m. Saturday at the University of Dayton Marriott. This is... This is one I've been wanting to go to, but uh, we're going to be tied up at uh, the VOA Museum on Saturday night. But the Wolf Hong uh, ceremony um, is at 9 p.m. The Trade Winds Pavilion, the Marriott University of Dayton on Patterson Boulevard. Uh, free registration online. Just make sure there's enough seats, and uh, you'll get a certificate for that. So check that out as well. So uh, we had hoped to have... Uh, 
Sheriff Gene Fisher, KX8GCS, on the show tonight. And um, I'm not sure if he didn't get the word on the new phone number or what, but apparently we're not going to be able to uh, bring him to you tonight unless he calls in here in just a little bit. But um, he wants to send his um, welcome to everyone and... Um, They've been working uh, hard to get everything ready to go um, for Hamvention. So uh, thanks to him, and uh, he's really enjoying his, his time. Uh, I had a chance to talk with him a little bit on the phone, and um, he uh, he got talked into going to Orlando to Hamcation, and, and he's really getting into it. He's, he's telling me he's got some antennas up in the yard now, and, and he's really getting into it. So we appreciate him. Uh, um, representing ham radio um, all around the place, but w- we appreciate his um, support for that. So, um, Paul, if you're ready, we're gonna we're gonna look around. There's nobody around. Well, well maybe maybe you, you can you can do it in here. Okay, so so we we promised that we had something a little, a little special tonight, and so you know, Oprah Winfrey. David Letterman, Tyra Banks, and Tom Hanks are but just a few of the people who are not attending Hamvention this year. But about 30,000 are. So Paul Brown, WD9GCO, our man on the street, is going to go around the parking lot and try to find a ham that's here from Texas. So let's see here. Let, let's let's get Paul online here. First of all, we gotta hit the right buttons, and I think, I think, I think there, we have yep, you. Yep. Yep. Okay. So, Paul, I'm gonna take a quick we're, look out okay. here first, Neil. We're, we're, okay, we're gonna we're gonna send Paul out to the parking lot here and out into the lobby and and see if we've got any people who are arriving for Hamvention. And our goal is we're going to find somebody here from Texas. So, so we've got the external phone uh, turned on. And and Paul, what what do you see out there, Paul? Well, Neil, I'm I'm walking through the lobby, and, and I'm walking out into the parking lot, Neil, and and I see a bunch of cars that are already parked. So. I'm just going to keep walking okay. around. Okay. So I yeah, find Don, Don says keep walking. And, and okay, so so can we find a license plate from Texas? Okay. Let's see if maybe we can find a license plate from Texas. Now, now, Julie, my 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 fiance, Julie, her hey, activity you know, I, at at Hamvention was that. always to try to find all fifty states on license plates at Hamvention. That was her entertainment. She didn't get into the whole radio thing but but she liked to wander around the parking lot and get her steps in and and find all 50 states from license plate so so are you coming up with anything paul okay i'm i'm walking through did don say how long i had to walk oh he says four days Four days. Yeah, four okay. days in May. That's, uh, that's in, in, in honor of four days of May. Oh, oh my God, Neil. Yeah, Neil. Neil. Yeah. We have a license plate from Texas. There we go. We got one. Okay. Can we go for more? There's no person in the car, but we got one. So we're going to keep walking. We got it. Okay. Uh, here we have one from uh, Michigan. And Ohio, what a surprise. No, wrong state. Iowa. Hey, here's one, a real good-looking car from Indiana. Uh, more from Ohio. Uh, don't key that one. Virginia. Don't, don't key the one from yeah, Indiana. Yeah, no, I won't. Cause I need I have that. To pay, yeah, then I have to pay to get it fixed. Uh, another <laughs> Ohio. Uh, so far, we got the... Uh, we got one from Texas, Neil. This is, uh, oh, hey, here's one from Louisiana. Can I key that one? Oh, yeah, I, I think definitely. 
<laughs> Don says that's not him because his is registered in Mississippi. All right, Paul. Did we did, did did we lose you, Paul? I think we lost Paul. We lost Paul. Right of applause, people for losing Paul. Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness, we lost Paul. Uh, let's see if we can get Paul back on the line. <laughs> Calling Paul. Hello. Yeah, hello. Oh, you're back. Okay, we lost you. Yes. <laughs> we lost you. Well, why, why don't you come back in, and we'll we'll see if we've got anybody from uh, from Texas in here. I found a car from India uh, from Louisiana. Can I key that one? No. Oh, you miss you missed that. Don said his is registered to Mississippi. He only works in Louisiana. Oh. Wrong car. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> All right. This is in case you're just tuning in. This is Paul Brown, WD9 GCO from Amateur Radio Newsline and 100 Watts in a Wire, or, or what was what was the other one? The Wires and a what? And a, a hundred wires and a what? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, Paul Brown, WD9 GCO, or man on the street going around trying to find a ham who is here visiting from Texas. So, so let, let's take a look. Oh, oh, oh I, I think we've got one. We have one from we have one from Texas. Do you have a little silver cart? Oh my God, you know, that means there's two people here. We have Texas. two people here from Texas. But okay, here. so let's find out. Let's find out who this is. What's the final? Which? It's Al uh, KC Five R. All right. Okay. Is this your first time here? Oh no, like the 29th time, here, and that's not an exaggeration. So what are you here for this weekend? What, what, what are you looking Same for? Same junk, different year. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it seems like the flea market is just an exchange of junk. Yeah, it's from one car to the next. I am, you bring it exactly. Yeah, yeah, that's it. All right, that's it. Okay, right, anybody, anybody else? else? In this from Texas? Anybody else around here from Texas? Well, I think. Well, I think the Texas person gets the prize, right? Oh yeah, yeah, well, yeah, well, yeah. We get a well, we get a free we Amtalk a Live but, T-shirt. But you do not have the official Don Wilbanks from Newsline sticker. You have one of those now. We got more swag. We got ham talk live decals. We got newsline. De- we have nerd cards. Now, 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 Paul, tell 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 the people a little bit about the nerd cards. This nerd card is very handy. On one edge, you have a three-inch measuring thing. That's an official term. Yes, a measuring thing. You've got uh, pinouts for various uh, connectors. You've got the color code for Ethernet, which is something I always have to remember. And on the back? And on the back? You've got a metric measuring thingy. Because the chemistry and, uh, teacher has to have metric on it, you know. Exactly. And some frequency uh, allotments and some more uh, connector pinout thingies. So it's a useful card. All right. Well, congratulations from right. visiting from Texas. But, right. but admit it, having the Don Wilbank sticker made your weekend, didn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I think okay. we All right. right. Well, let's, well, let's. Okay. So, okay. We're, we're, we're going to take on a, a new game. All right. All okay. right. Let's look for hams. From Mississippi. This guy, this guy looks like he's from Mississippi. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he is. He is. He's, he's, a he's a friendly looking guy, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah. I heard he drove 13 hours today just to get here for this. What's your name, sir? Don Wilbank. He needs a Don Wilbanks from Newsline sticker. Yes, he does. (laughs) (laughs) 
No, no, no. No, no. Uh, we're having so much fun. We're not even drinking. Yeah, well... Well, except for, well, yeah, I was going to say, except for Bill, uh, you know, well, and Ellen Russ. So, so yeah, we have the, uh, we have the, uh, the duo from the Linux in the Ham Shack podcast in the house tonight. Bill Stearns, NE4RD, and Russ, K5TUX. So, thanks for dropping by. And they'll be handing out stickers tomorrow, too. In in their booth, they have a booth. I I just have a pig that runs around, but they have yeah. a booth. So, but they don't have. Well, sure, they they could have a little penguin that runs around, but no, you have Hammy. True. There you go. There you go. All right. Well, that's Paul Brown, WD nine GCO, or Man on the Street. Thanks, Paul, for. Being our Biff Henderson tonight. Boy, aren't you glad you brought me along? I, I am so glad. <laughs> Thank you so much, Paul. You are welcome, Neil. Yeah. All right. Well, let's uh, remind everybody of the uh, talk in uh, stuff one more time. Uh, 146.94 negative offset, 123 PL. Uh, the alternate, 146.985 negative with the same 123 PL. Uh, the traffic bulletin station is just repeating information over and over again, 145.525 to listen to that. Um, you can get on mid car, 7258. Um, Wanting meters, 14.325, plus or minus for QRM. That's 7 to 9 p.m. and then 10 to 11 p.m. And then uh, 16.20 a.m. And uh, you can always check ogo.com. That's O-H-G-O.com for the latest state traffic conditions. And uh, reminder, if you... Um, or the on ADA parking, um, you can enter gates three or four, the flea markets gate two, and then inside exhibitors, they got directions already. So, so that's uh, what's going on here in Dayton, Ohio. So, uh, we're going to take one last look at the weather with uh, Eric, KD4BNT, and then uh, we'll wrap things up here. So, Eric, take it away. Sure, taking one last look at the weather here for him, Vincent. It does look like we may have to deal with some thunderstorms here during the night tonight. Likely we'll get in uh, pretty quiet here this evening, but after 10 or 11 o'clock tonight, we'll be watching storms firing off to the north and heading southward. Some of those could produce some gusty winds and some brief heavy rain, so do watch out if you are traveling late tonight. Uh, and there could be some standing water in the morning. I know water has been an issue before, uh, but it does look like that gets out of here fairly quickly. We get most of the day dry tomorrow, some more pop-up storms in the afternoon and evening, and then quieting down for the weekend. One thing for sure, though, through this weekend, it will be warm. Temperatures each day expected to be in the lower to middle 80s, so dress appropriately. With your Hamvention weather, I'm Spectrum News 1 Chief Meteorologist Eric Elwell, KD4, BNT 7-3. All right, Eric, thanks so much for that. And that is a wrap for this special Hamvention episode of Ham Talk Live. Thanks to my guests, Spectrum News 1 Chief Meteorologist Eric Elwell, KD4BNT, Larry Sack, N8QNM, Paul Brown, WD9GCO, and everybody out there in cyberspace for listening. And I invite you all back next Thursday night at 9 p.m. Eastern Time. And for a list of our upcoming guests, be sure to visit hamtalklive.com. And if you like the show, please leave us a review over on iTunes. That helps others find us faster. So for now, this is Neil Rapp, WB9VPG, saying 7375. Have fun at Hamvention, and may the good DX be yours. Well, you came right back to my CQ call. You read a bit of E5 and strength 9. You never once mentioned your weather at all And I didn't mention mine We talked and talked for hours and hours I completely forgot you're a hammer